Good afternoon, everyone. It is Sunday afternoon, uh, the 19th of April 2020. I'm looking at the global indices, starting off with the Dow. And so, very interesting just correlation this week, just a general uh, coincidence that a lot of the markets are doing these weekly retracements within, with the potential to resume to the downside. So, but have a look at this. We've got a nice, strong uptrend on the daily breaking above 23,000. Uh, currently on the daily looking really nice and bullish. It's going to encounter some resistance towards 25,000. And that weekly still no clear trend and certainly on a monthly basis, uh, looking as though it did find some good support at that 20,000 level. But uh, technically, the conditions that we had here, the trend that we had, the pre previous uptrend on the monthly basis, we do not have that anymore. This big move down is broken that trend and therefore uh, I have to now wait for the trend to decide in the longer run sort of over the next few months which way it's going to go but technically speaking that old trend is broken that's the same for all of the other US indices so again we're now coming into the moving averages and into potential resistance and so these areas are areas where price could potentially find resistance uh, if nothing else I'd like to see the markets do a normal healthy retracement back down to test levels of support and then attempt to resume that this week if we can just to see if that daily trend is able to uh, maintain itself going and having a look at the S&P very very strong uptrend one of the things that is very impressive to me uh, as a trader is seeing the biggest swings we're having are obviously quite scary but these kind of big recoveries are really really big to see the market manage to climb its way back up over several you know several hundred points and it's very impressive at, at, at any rate. So again, price coming into these potential levels of support and resistance, and I'll be watching to see how price reacts on the daily around these key levels, looking for retracements, and then sort of cautiously looking for entry opportunities to trade it to the upside with the idea, with the potential that price might find resistance and head lower. So again, this is something in the last few weeks, I've been prepared for that because in all my years of trading and all the research I've done, I've not seen a market recover, have such, have a historic, you know, collapse and then a recovery and then just go back to normal. It just kind of would, this would be unheard of. It would be a black swan in itself. Um, but yeah, so I'm leaning towards that not really being the case. Look at the NASDAQ, which is the most bullish of the bunch. It's now overextended on the daily, showing a potential red candle here coming in towards these lows. So this potential resistance here, we've actually seen, uh, had resistance here going back, of course, into March, 2nd of March. This could find resistance at the same level. All right, to break the low, head down. So what I'll be looking for is to see if it can find support at these next levels towards 8,200, uh, 8,300. If it falls through that and comes back down towards these monthly levels at 7,700, then I'm going to be leaning towards a, a larger move to the downside. Okay, so in other words, if we can pull back and I can see a nice little bullish candle, we break the high of that this week, by the end of next week, that would actually be a very nice indication that that trend is likely to continue to the upside. If on the other hand, it's unable to find support at these levels and work and falls quite aggressively lower then obviously I'm going to start preparing to look for shorting opportunities to the downside. Mini Russell same thing again it is trending to the upside we are in an uptrend uh, we are still overextended to the downside on the weekly so there is that potential for it to come back up to test these lows at 1300 to see if it could find some resistance there and so really for now that monthly chart is good to have a look at but because there's no trend there I'm having to kind of look at the shorter term data to assess what's going on now then having a look say for example the FTSE this uptrend is not very strong this actually is now looking as though it wants to turn around break the lows and head lower just because we just weren't able to go much higher you can see we haven't retraced too much we haven't come back to 6,000 and we do have historic levels of support and resistance there as well going into the DAX this one actually not so bad, uh, managing to break above levels of uh, support. So if we can hold above those levels and climb higher, that would be great. Again, it'll be coming into levels of resistance. But those monthly charts look as though there's been a solid bounce. We're only just past the halfway mark in April. So of course the monthly candle, if we do end up heading lower, would just be would not end this way. But just currently, it's showing that potential. It's really attempting to recover. It is attempting to climb higher. The French CAC. Really not able to get through this level of resistance, this monthly level of resistance just yet. Uh, and you can see it here as to these previous lows. So it's got to really get over that 4,600 line euro stocks. Uh, but more uptrending. All right. So certainly uptrending on the daily. 
but no clear trend on the weekly and no clear trend on the monthly. So at this point, it's really kind of playing it on in terms of shorter. It's a shorter game um, as opposed to a longer game. And so really looking to see how the market reacts to that. So being I'm just going to be prepared for the market to do drops, making sure that every trade I take does, of course, have a stop loss in place. Trading without a stop loss in these kind of conditions or the kind of moves the market can do is financial suicide. So I wouldn't would just stay away from that. Um, and uh, again, then finishing off here with the uh, Essex. Also trying to recover here. Also can potentially work its way up towards 6,000. Uh, but it is coming back into these lows. So this week, what I'll be looking for again, as I said, is looking for on the NASDAQ is a nice healthy retracement back into the moving averages, bullish candle, a break and see a follow through, see that it attempt to climb higher. If it manage, if there's a big significant drop on any one day um, and it drops below these moving averages, 10 and 20 moving averages, then I'll probably be much more cautious and then I'll be preparing for the potential for it to then head lower. So just as I said, when I'm trading it to the upside until that longer term trend resumes, I'm going to be just that bit more cautious. All right. So in other words, I need to see more time of more of an uptrend to be able to relax a bit more. Uh, at the same time, I am including the possibility that we're not out of the woods yet and therefore that a big drop to the downside could still occur.